This is Eric Muade with Muade.com going into the week of June the 11th, 2012. Let's take a look at the markets here. We see that um, the second week of June, we had the market bounce off the 200-day moving average on this, as far as the NASDAQ is concerned. So that could be setting up for uh, short-term support in the market, which is exactly what the bulls would want to see. But we also see that the market is back to this resistance level here on the Nasdaq so we are either gonna uh, break out with a strong move and I'll show you why I think that could be possible break out with a strong move or we could find ourselves experiencing some level of resistance over here and the market pull back again to retest the upward um, trending 200 day moving average so you know so far the takeaway is nice support exactly where you'd expect to find it on the 200 day moving average if you take a look at the Dow, you'll see the same scenario. Uh, we are finding support exactly at the 200-day moving average is good. So we'll see whether the market is going to push higher and challenge the uh, declining 50-day moving average, or if we are going to uh, pull back again to retest the 200-day moving average. So it's, right now, you know, it's you can you can think, look at it as a with a point of view that the market is trying to do exactly what it needs to do f before it has a another move higher so that support of the 200 day moving average was critical and now if you take a look at the Dow from an hourly chart and especially if you use the 26 period on the RSI you'll see that this double top here on the RSI corresponds to the highs in the market going back to the beginning of May now if you take the highs on the RSI in March and draw a straight line connecting that double top here you'll end up with this fact that the market is finding it difficult to move above that area what that tells me is this level here at about Dow 12,560 uh, somewhere around there uh, 12,560 the market is n not yet breaking out what that tells me is that probably we've seen some short-term highs in the market here the only way we can uh, that can be um, not the case is if the market breaks out. Going into that options expiration week, that's a possibility. If the market breaks out, then we are going to have a surge in the market. So right now we are seeing short-term resistance, and if that remains the case, then then a pullback is going to be in play um, this options expiration week. If you take a look at the Dow from a 30-minute uh, chart you'll see that we had a break on the price here we had a price break here in um, late May the market broke down it's bounced off this level once and it's now trending at that level right there so either that is gonna be that break area is gonna be resistance and a pull pullback or a breakout and a powerful move so we still have to wait to see how that happens but we are back in this critical area here where right now we are seeing resistance or at least the market closing at that level uh, should we gap up and break out that's going to lead to a big move higher and if we find resistance then that's going to uh, probably be telling a short term the market has peaked now if we take a look at the S&P 500 from a weekly chart what I wanted to show you here is um, we seem to be finding support on this long term trend line that connects it to the lows of March 2009 and uh, summer uh, 2011 draw a straight line we'll find that we are finding support right there so this is a, a nice bounce area also we also now know for a fact that this is uh, an area we can watch down the road if the market ever comes back and breaks below that level that's gonna be our cue to get out of the market so we have that um, we need to just watch this line for support and a bounce which is market is doing right now or in the future a break and a cascade lower also you notice that on the RS on the weekly RSI for the S&P 500 this green line green line here was a breakout point there beginning of this year and so the market broke out and has come all the way and has a double bottom on that underside of that line so this green line tells that short term the market might want to be pushing higher so we need to be careful going into this options expiration week because the market could be setting up for a move powerful move higher now 
we had talked about the fact that as long as the VIX stayed above 2510 we could play the ups the downside uh, or short the market but once the break the it failed to hold that level after two days of a breakout then we had to sell that was a sell signal once once the VIX moved back below 2510 so until the VIX recaptures this level here um, you know you want to stay at least don't short the market around here you want to stay um, if anything you want to stay long short term if you take a look at the Nasdaq last week we had the Nasdaq uh, the, if you take a look at the FFAX the three times financial bear ETF last week we had a move above 50 and a close above 50 on the RSI I was good for an 11 12 percent rally and I told you last week if we move back below 50 we're gonna have another big move lower because as you move above 50 you get a big move higher and back below 50 a big move lower so we as we saw that that big move below 50 with that almost a 13 percent uh, drawdown now this is also an area where this last time we had this uh, turn around around the 50 day around the 50 level in the RSI was going back to November of 2011 and we went straight to 52 week lows and the market went to fresh 52 week highs so if this is probably a signal here that we are turning around here that this could be the highs on the FAZ and maybe now the financials are back in play as long as the chart remains uh, this one be remains above or remains below 50 we can speculate that the market is gonna be at least looking to go higher as far as the financials are concerned take a look at the dollar now the dollar is starting to show signs of a bearish sign here if if the, if the weekly RSI on the dollar forms that type of a formation over the next couple of weeks if we end up rolling over and going back below this line that's gonna be the suggest that this is a trap here this breakout was a trap um, especially let's watch this 81.52 area because if the market pushes the dollar back below that area it's gonna be our cue that the dollar is done the rally in the dollar is over and the market is gonna be back in play so let's take a look and make sure we follow this level here because should this um, RSI cross over to the downside here that's a sell signal uh, the dollar goes inverse the stock market so if the dollar is pulling back you want to play the long side in the stock market let's take a look at some world markets here start with Brazil here we see that this line here once we broke out here we had a nice move to the upside we've walked our way back and we are bouncing off this line again here and trying to move high so short term even the Brazilian market is showing signs of a bounce even though long term we see that we have a bearish crossover between the 50 and the 200 day moving average and needless to say short term this could be setting up for a bounce in the market and until we get another change in the charts here I would say that even the even the MACDs are showing turnaround potential here so the market is poised at least to short term move to the upside if you take a look at the Brazilian market from a weekly chart you'll see that take the lows of um, late 2008 the lows of summer uh, 2011 draw a straight line you see that we are bouncing exactly on Q so again this could be an area where this market starts moving higher short term long term I'm not sure uh, this could be a bear market trap in terms of the market might push back to this declining 10 week moving averages before pulling back and breaking this uh, long term multi year established long term trend so a bounce might be in effect but if we for example if we walk into the new week or sometime in the coming weeks and we see this market crash below this level here you want to get out of the stock market and play the short side take a look at the French market from the French CAC 40 you see that we are bouncing off this trend line here which is good short term also notice that as the market was moving lower here the RSI was pushing high in other words the technicals were improving as price was going down so that short term uh, positive divergence which means that more than likely we're gonna see a short term surge in this market so 
uh, even the dailies on the European markets are showing signs of strength take a look at the MACDs again you see the MACDs were improving oops MACDs are improving while the, uh, the market was making fresh lows so that could suggest short term the market might also be wanting to push high if you take a look at the FTSE the same scenario here uh, you see that the FTSE found support if you take the lows of uh, August 2011 lows of October 2011 draw a straight line you see that we are bouncing exactly where we should be finding support bouncing off that over the last week or so and also uh, we see that we are short term breaking out of this range so again day to day week to week even now week to week the market is showing signs of a recovery if you take a look at the FTSE again from a long term weekly chart you'll see that the lows of uh, March 09 lows of uh, last summer draw a straight line you see that we are bouncing exactly where we should right around there so short term this market is showing signs of strength now if you take a look at the weekly for the FTSE again you see that even on the RSI take the lows of October 2008 and the lows of um, summer 2011 draw a straight line you see that we are bouncing off this line twice in fact we've done that twice so that's a double top here a double bottom what that suggests is a short term this market is really preparing to move high short term even on a weekly chart so let's prepare for that if you take a look also at the MACD and you'll see that this green line here we are bouncing off this MACD level here so again another buy signal in the market week to week now I have to caution you because even though it's a buy signal short term if we cross over here to the downside that's gonna be a sell signal for now it's showing us a bounce potential so we'll play that if you take a look at the cost B same thing a lows of 2008 lows of um, March 2009 and then lows of uh, October 2011 draw a straight line you see that we are bouncing exactly where we should be finding uh, support which is over the last month or so we've been finding that as a support level so that would tell me that maybe short term we want to move higher in the market even the RSI take the lows there over the last uh, four years draw a straight line you see that we are bouncing exactly on that line so you know short term everything's pointing to a market that wants to move high on the weekly charts and the daily charts if you take a look at the Dow transports what I wanted to point out here is going into that options expiration week is that the fact that the RSI is very close to 50 so if it moves above 50 it's gonna suggest a strong week in the market so be careful for that if you take a look at the Dow Jones on the daily chart you see that the RSI is very close to 50 again so on a day-to-day -day basis if the market moves above 50 on the daily RSI expect that to be a strong day if you take a look at the Nasdaq on a daily chart it's very close to 50 at 48 and a half if it moves above 50 it's gonna be a strong day whenever that happens in the market huge day if you look at the S&P 500 from a daily chart again the RSI is just below 50 if it moves above 50 that's gonna suggest another strong day in the market now on a, a weekly chart as far as the Dow is concerned it's very close to 50 again right there at 49.14 so if the Dow moves above 50 that's gonna suggest a strong week also notice that long term we seem to be finding support on this line here so the market is you know doing what it needs to do if it wants to move higher if you take a look at the Nasdaq again the RSI is very close to 50 on a weekly basis so any move above 50 uh, is gonna suggest a strong week now let's take a look at the S&P 500 here you'll notice that also the weekly on the S&P 500 is very close to 50 at 49.61 so a weekly move above 50 is gonna suggest a strong week in the S&P 500 in the general market so it's not it's not gonna be a good time to be short especially on a options expiration week again you'll notice that we are holding firm on this long-term trend line here going back to March 09 lows so if the market bounces off that it's good short term if we break down that's gonna suggest uh, 
in the future if we break this level here you really don't want to be long the market but for now we are seeing bounce possibility on the weeklies and the daily charts the monthly charts still continue being negative but the weeklies and dailies are now positive so I'm gonna say let's play the upside in the market until we break the current support line in the weeklies especially Eric Moore, Moore good luck peace and bless